Hey YouTube and friends of the channel, we got a new toy. This is kind of how I started out the channel by doing some walkthroughs, reviews, overviews of some newer products that I got and I thought this would be a perfect time to talk about this one. This is a brand new Champion Model 100 730 walk behind gas powered leaf blower. This thing is awesome. I've got a chance to use it now. I probably only have like, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes on it. Uh, but so far it's really been a treat. Um, why did I get this? Well, let's talk about that. We'll talk about the unit. We'll do a quick demo and I'll tell you my thoughts at the end. Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that uh, I do like Champions outdoor power products. I've had really good luck. They've been reliable. They're easy to use. Most of their engines are um, similar. So if I ever had a problem with an engine, it's, it's not a big deal to get a new one. I have not had any issues though. Um, so primarily, why am I getting this walk behind blower? I already have a Milwaukee cordless blower and that's great for you know getting the, the grass clippings off of the sidewalk and, and doing some basic things. But let me tell you, the big dog here really gets the job done quickly. Um, if you take a look at the driveway here, you can kind of see this area and then here's this transition um, this upper area where we turn around a lot, I got, I did two coats of uh, driveway sealer five years ago. And as you can see, the places where I only got the single coat is really starting to fade. I can probably get one more year out of that, but really what I need to be doing is I got to get to all these cracks and I have my crack sealer. But what happens is you can't put the crack sealer when there's all this, um, dirt and debris in here. You got to get this blown out. Because otherwise that crack sealer just sits on the top of this, it'll just peel right up. So that's um, primarily the reason I got it. I got quite a long driveway um, and it just, it really makes it a lot quicker. I end up going through batteries really fast when I'm trying to move like, I mean, there's a lot of dirt here. Don't get me wrong. I don't ex like this stuff is heavy and it's uh, dried in there. So I'll probably, I'll definitely have to make a couple passes over that. I'm, I mean, this thing, it's not a, a brush. It's not a rotary brush but it's gonna get the majority of this stuff out of the way and then I can touch up some of this like super wet um, compacted stuff with a, a broom later. But I got quite the mess down there from edging the driveway uh, with the mower. Um, still got some more cleanup. Anyways, back to the unit. This thing is 1200 CFM at, and it blows at 150 miles an hour. What I'll say here is when we're talking CFM, PSI, 150 miles an hour, you'll often see manufacturers putting 150 or 140 miles an hour. I think my Milwaukee is something like 120, 130, something like that. But it's only like 410 or 420 CFM. So this guy at 1200 is nearly three times as powerful. So think of 150 miles per hour. Like that's, that's a lot of wind that's moving. But you could move 150 mile per hour wind at one CFM and it's really got no power, no snort to it. When you're, when you're blowing 1200 cubic feet per minute, that's the volume of air. So you're blowing 1200 cubic feet of minute volume at 150 miles an hour. It's just incredible. It's like a hurricane um, compared to uh, 150 or 140 miles an hour at like 400 CFM for my cordless that's just the, a lot less volume take a look at the impeller assembly here so there's basically a, a giant gas powered fan in here um, and th this is where your intake is and then when it blows it comes out down here now this little gate here this is adjustable so like for doing my driveway I have it slightly angled down just to get a little more downforce you can see that there but I could also angle it upwards if I needed to or perfectly level so I like that little cant downward like that that works pretty slick um, it's got a like a zero turn caster wheel in the front adjustable handles here so you can see with this dial if you're a shorter person or if you're really tall like me um, you've got lots of adjustment this thing's super comfy to move like you can push this it turns on a dime I mean it literally is like a zero turn so I find that to be nice when this thing came I would say it's 90% assembled basically all I had to do is put the handles together mount the throttle here uh, gosh I think that was it 
like there's really not much to do oh just put the the front caster wheel on too that was um actually this whole assembly just mounts right here i did have to get a couple like open-ended wrenches and then a, a socket with a like a swivel adapter deal to put that on it's just difficult to get this guy underneath here in the wheel and the engine is their typical uh, gas powered 212 cc it's got a kill switch here you've got your fuel on and off choke and then the throttle which is actually controlled up here super easy throttle control this side or the right hand side of the engine look it's even got the cutout here i swear they uh they listen to feedback so when you're doing your oil change just uh, drop the nut out here the oil can fall straight through to your pan down below fill it up here one thing champion also does they send their units with a container of oil all ready to go so basically pull this stick out comes with a funnel put your funnel in add the supplied amount of oil and put in your 91 non-oxy my recommendation uh, and you're you're set you're good to go this thing is ready to rock I, I really like that champion still does that so you know for the first five to 15 hours here while I get the break in I'll just use their oil drain that out I'll add in um, you know mine I think it's somewhere about what three quarters of a quart it takes uh, and because I'm here in the cold, I'll probably put 5W30 in. That way I can use this thing like late fall and, and I know it's going to start even in the colder temperatures. Air filter here, muffler, spark arrester, output. That's pretty much it, guys. If you want to adjust the height or the, the angle of the handle here, you just see when you loosen that out, see how those teeth separate? So super quick. Obviously do that on both sides and then you're set. It's even got the locate here for the uh for the pull cord instead of having it you know down here and you kind of have to reach down in there to grab it it uh, stays right up here which is handy sight gauge for the fuel which is nice so you don't have to sit here and open it up where do i see this being used well you could totally use this in your grass if you've got leaves in the fall time i don't have a whole lot of like maples or oaks or anything or uh, in the yard um, so primarily I got this to use in the driveway, but let me show you how this works for starting it up um, Now this is cold. I have not started it. I would be burning myself if this was hot So this is a complete cold start here hasn't been started in a few days. We'll go down the driveway I'll show it to you and we'll talk about it at the end All right guys, sorry about that when I usually do these in one take But I realized after the fact that uh, the thing was bouncing all over the place, the camera was. I don't want to get anybody sick, so I'm just going to reshoot this portion here. But before we start it up, I wanted to show you this. So there's actually a deflector underneath here. It's pretty slick. I'm trying to do this one-handed, but basically loosen up this nut here. And then this guy slides right on. Tight, tighten that down. And now you're deflecting your air straight forward. And I think where that would really come in useful is if you're in a like a walkway you're between buildings and you want to blow everything forward or towards you it might also work good for certain sidewalk situations uh, my only caution to that is if you had a bunch of really light stuff remember this is your intake here so depending on which way the wind's blowing you potentially could have some stuff coming back so i would just keep an eye on that obviously there's a ton of power coming out of this so it's probably not going to be that big of a deal when you're all done that just loosens up come right back over here and you can see it says this side up for use so obviously flip it this side up for storage and it just goes right back in there hooks onto that and underneath there's a little hook and it just stays right there make sure you tighten this guy back so it doesn't uh, vibrate to death so we still have a cold engine Try to do this one-handed and see if it gets better. Also, this switch here, the on-off switch, the kill switch, is spring-loaded. I really like these. So to shut it off, it's just a single down press. It's always back in the run position, so you never have to worry about that. Here's your choke. We're open. Close it. We'll give it about, you know, half, three-quarter throttle. And we'll give it a pull.
that's how quick it is to <laughs> to turn the thing on and off it goes pretty well so i'm sure it was tough to see i know the camera probably doesn't do it justice but it really launched this grass so like you can see here this is like this is all wet and this is like stuck to the driveway so i mean that would be something mechanically i just have to get a broom out or just simply wait till it dries but if the camera picked it up or not it was launching stuff out of these cracks like all the loose gravel and stuff like that like if you look down here you can see the voids that's my crack filler is going to get in there really nice i tried to walk at a pace where you know it seems like an average kind of a pace uh you know not trying to tout the machine or anything like that but it is very very capable like i said it would be the equivalent of having like three of my milwaukee cordless units and i don't have to deal with the batteries because it's gas powered so anyways i hope you guys found this helpful uh, if you're thinking about buying one of these again it's the champion model 100 730 walk behind blower if you have any questions for me leave them down in the comments i'll try to answer them uh, i will be using this here probably well maybe next week and uh, be using it to really uh, spend some time clean off the driveway and get it ready for some crack sealing and uh, some surface prep and then of course uh, continuing to use it to get rid of the grass clippings from mowing and then this fall there's a couple areas i'll clean up with some leaves and uh, i'll report back and let you know how it's working for that if you guys have any questions like i said let me know hope you found this helpful we'll see you on the next video